Breaking news, nigga. Breaking sports news. Damn it, man. We got the new Fox intro. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, this was sent to me by Arlen Flood, and it says Landon Collins 2. Now, people remember my Landon Collins video that went viral before my channel went down, and I don't know where the fuck that video is now. Sorry I can't repost it, but that was a great damn video. It was so damn good that Landon Collins' mama was on there arguing with me. Talking crap. That's how big it got. Three million views. Hate on me. Anyway, I did the video about this guy named Landon Collins whose mama got mad at him for wanting to go to LSU when he wanted to go to LSU. Now, here we are again. All in flood sends me this and says, Landon Collins too. And he puts, Tommy, check this out. She can't pick the right penis but she wants to do what's best for her son. For those who watched that video, I told Miss Landon Collins' mama, you can't pick a dick, but you want to pick your son's damn college. Well, this is the shittiest story I've ever heard. Why is this story so shitty, you ask? Well, this young man, his name is Alex Collins. Same last name, but no relation. Alex Collins is a brother look like me. Handsome and dark skinned and manly and just ready to punch a bitch in the mouth. Well, he's a running back from the great state of Florida. Let me let ESPN tell you what the fuck happens before I tell you what happened. No, I'm going to tell you. The woman stole her son's letter of intent, went to his college or went to his school, stole the letter of intent and ran the fuck away. Watch this. You think I'm lying? Watch. The head coach of the Razorback and Brett joins us now on the phone on National Signing Day. Brett, how would you describe what the process has been like for you getting acclimated to Arkansas and still trying to put together a recruiting class? You know what, Reese? It's been a little bit of a whirlwind, but uh, we've weathered the storm pretty well. I'm very excited about the guys we added to our roster today. Um, really, a, a player, a bunch of players from coast to coast, uh, kind of different skill sets, but guys that I think fit our program well, and hopefully it'll be uh, be great players down the road. I know sometimes coaches don't like to compare players per se, but you've had such a run of great running backs at Wisconsin. You signed a highly regarded guy in Alex Collins. How would you compare him in terms of skill set to some of the good backs you had at Wisconsin? Well, unfortunately, Reese, I can only comment on guys that we got paperwork through on. Uh, oh, I didn't. Okay, I didn't realize his paperwork wasn't in. I apologize right. for that. So it. I do think, do you have the paperwork on Denver Kirkland? Can yes, I ask we you? do. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, he's a lineman that fits the Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin Bowl. Um, all right, just a few moments ago, we had new Arkansas coach Brett Bielema on, and I asked him about one of the top signees in his class, Alex Collins, and NCAA rules keep coaches from commenting on prospects or commitments until they actually sign their national letter of intent. And Brett told us why I don't have uh, a letter of intent, so I can't comment on him. So because we have an enterprising staff, an intrepid staff, as it were, Corey Long now working on what might have happened to that national letter of intent. What's going on with, the, with Derek Dooley's favorite uh, implement of technology, the fax machine, Corey? Uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, well, the, the papers are not there. I've heard from more than one source that, uh, I've actually heard from two different sources that his mother has confiscated the papers and she she took them and she ran and there's uh they are looking for her currently and uh i from what i understand alex is not at the school right now he's looking for his mom she was quite torn up about him leaving so far from home so that's sort of the word right now at the south plantation they're being pretty guarded with everything obviously but uh the papers are not there and uh, i've heard it from two different sources that his mother uh, confiscated them, and she had, uh, she left the school after she did so. <laughs> All right, Corey, our Southeast Regional Recruiting Coordinator. I'm sure it's not funny to Alex. I'm sure it's not funny to Brett. It is somewhat amusing to me. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Reese, <laughs> this is the paper podcast, signing day nightmare, and it happens, and that's why it's so important that you have someone on the street that you can contact to help you get it done. And that's a difficult, I mean, right now there's panic going on in Arkansas. And I, I've been there, and if you don't have help, whether it's the high school coach or somebody else in that family who's on your team and can create a little calm in the midst of the chaos and get it done for you, it's a helpless feeling. Y'all see this shit? Show him a picture of the brother. Show, show him a picture of the brother right quick. 
Now that brother, first off, he looked like he's 35. That nigga look old as hell. Talking about the 18. That's an old ass 18. Whoa, that nigga's a thug. Anyway, Collins was voted by Rivals.com as a four-star running back. Four out of five, nigga. Four out of five. And he was slated to attend Arkansas. Told everybody he wanted to go to Arkansas. But here's the problem. His mama did not want him to go that far away from school because he's from Plantation, Florida. His mother wanted him to stay close to home. And when he did not change his mind, guess what his mother did? She took his fucking letter of intent and ran away and has not anyone seen her since. White folks been laughing their ass off. Greg, Coach Greg Couch said ESPN says Alice Collins mama stole his letter of intent. So he couldn't sign with Ar uh, with Arkansas. If he can't run her down, he should be in the Big Ten anyway. <laughs> so they clowning this brother on Twitter, on all kinds of stuff, just because his dumbass Terminatrix mama. Now y'all get mad when I call black women a Terminatrix. You get mad when I compare them to the damn Terminatrix. And then you give the credit to the the Terminator franchise as if I hadn't. But anyway, what type of mother does this? What type of mother embarrasses her son because she's so fucking selfish that she wants him to stay around her bitch ass? This is the problem with black women. If they don't get their damn way, they'll go out of their damn way to do something stupid. Now I'm waiting on Brock Johnson to come and tell me white women do it too. Show me some. This is the second damn black bitch that has done this to her damn child. Now this is out of line, people. Why would you do this to your son? Embarrass him in front of the world and run away. You done ran away like you Dora the Explorer and shit. No, this bitch is swiper. When you, see, when you get something... You got to tell a, bl a black bitch, swipe or no swiping, swipe or no swiping, swipe or no swiping. But you got to say it like 99 million times because that bitch is not going to ever say, oh, man. Man, I, I watch too much TV with my child. Anyway, the point is, this is so, so sad that after I played the commercial about the black man getting rich, off of a Joe Montana stain and the black woman getting jealous of him being that rich. She cut off her nose to spite, cut off his nose to spite his face. They don't do shit to hurt themselves. She washed it off and gave this evil ass grin at the camera like that was funny. Now people say that's just a commercial. Well, all you whores that said that's just a commercial, is this a fucking commercial? Is this a commercial? No, it isn't, isn't it? It's actually real. A black woman who don't have no man, she couldn't pick a dick, but she wants to pick her son's college. How does that work, ma'am? And she's willing to try and ruin his sports career just to make her happy. This is the extent and the majority of black women. They mostly don't have kids. The 70% of kids that are born out of wedlock lets you know they don't have kids because they like kids. They have kids to keep their hands on that man. And if he won't stay with me, then I'll fuck him up in court. And in the process, I will never have to work again because I can stay in these meager conditions. But my white dad is going to provide them. Why you think they get so motherfucking mad when they white daddy be one day late on WIC? One day late on their welfare payments. That's the extent of the Terminatrix. Now again, you can't, your mama black. My mama's got a husband. My mama ain't running around stealing shit. So her child can't go to the college he want to go to. But my mama did have her damn flaws. And I woke up every day and saw them flaws and then saw them within my aunts and aunts and cousins and, and whatever. And I started to realize these black women are fucking selfish and they will destroy anything in front of them. Don't believe me? 
Watch how them whores are siding against one dude against the other one because they even though they know one of them is full of crap. Black women have sided with a black man with a white woman just because they don't like me that much, hoping that that black man can overtake me. That's the extent of their hypocrisy. You took your son's letter of intent. Why? Why, ma'am? What about that made sense? And you have not been seen since. So you're just going to hold this man's letter of intent thinking that that's going to keep him from college. You know what I would do if I was him? I would get me another letter, fax it in, and never speak to you again. I would go do like the man from the motherfucking side. What was it, from the blind side? I'd go get me a white set of parents who are willing to let me stay with them. You know, like my man Patrick Willis, who when he finally got when hit some white parents with a white mother that treated him right, the man was able to reach the stars, you know, kind of like Colin Kaepernick, who had a white mama, white daddy. He, he was able to reach the damn stars. Do that because your mother wasn't able to get you a stepdaddy in your 19 years of existence. But she wants to make sure you can't go to the college that you want to. Don't believe me? Go to the website and see this story. This is disgusting. Now, I'm waiting on you simps to come tell me I'm being too hard on black women when you have never read this type of story about a white woman ever. And you've seen it twice now with black women. This is disgusting, but I'm sure you'll have some excuse for it. So make your damn excuse. But Alice Collins, I really hope this works out for you. And your mother's a shitty excuse for a woman, period much less a mother, which is the majority of the black women in the United States. They suck as women and they suck as parents. Hell, they suck as people. Now, get mad at me, but I got facts on my side. All you got is your fucking selfish ass opinion. I'm Tommy Sotomayor. I'm out. Fucking believable. 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 Breaking news, nigga. Breaking sports news. Damn it, man. We got the new Fox intro. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, this was sent to me by Arlen Flood, and it says Landon Collins 2. Now, people remember my Landon Collins video that went viral before my channel went down, and I don't know where the fuck that video is now. Sorry I can't repost it, but that was a great damn video. It was so damn good that Landon Collins' mama was on there arguing with me talking crap that's how big it got three million views hate on me anyway i did the video about this guy named landon collins whose mama got mad at him for wanting to go to lsu when he wanted to go to lsu now here we are again all in flood sends me this and says landon collins too and he puts tommy check this out she can't pick the right penis but she wants to do what's best for her son for those who watched that video i told miss landon collins mama you can't pick a dick but you want to pick your son's damn college. Well, this is the shittiest story I've ever heard. Why is this story so shitty, you ask? Well, this young man, his name is Alex Collins. Same last name, but no relation. Alex Collins is a brother look like me. Handsome and dark skinned and manly and just ready to punch a bitch in the mouth. Well, he's a running back from the great state of Florida. Let me let ESPN tell you what the fuck happens before I tell you what happened. No, I'm going to tell you. The woman stole her son's letter of intent, went to his college, 
I went to his school, stole the letter of intent, and ran the fuck away. Watch this. You think I'm lying? Watch. His first year as the head coach of the Razorbacks, and Brett joins us now on the phone on National Signing Day. Brett, how would you describe what the process has been like for you getting acclimated to Arkansas and still trying to put together a recruiting class? You know what, Reese? It's been a little bit of a whirlwind, but uh, we weathered the storm pretty well. I'm very excited about the guys we added to our roster today. Um, really a, a, player, a bunch of players from coast to coast, uh, kind of different skill sets, but guys that I think fit our program well, and hopefully it'll be, uh, be great players down the road. I know sometimes coaches don't like to compare players per se, but you've had such a run of great running backs at Wisconsin. You signed a highly regarded guy in Alex Collins. How would you compare him in terms of skill set to some of the good backs you had at Wisconsin? Well, unfortunately, Reese, I can only comment on guys that we got paperwork through on. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Okay, I didn't realize his paperwork wasn't in. I apologize right. for that. So it, I do think, do you have the paperwork on Denver Kirkland? Can yes, I ask we you do. This? Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, he's a lineman that fits the Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin Bowl. Um, all right, just a few moments ago, we had you Arkansas coach Brett Bielema on, and I asked him about one of the top signees in his class, Alex Collins, and NCAA rules keep coaches from commenting on prospects or commitments until they actually sign their national letter of intent. And Brett told us why well, I don't have uh, a letter of intent, so I can't comment on him. So because we have an enterprising staff, an intrepid staff, as it were, Corey Long now working on what might have happened to that national letter of intent. What's going on with, the, with Derek Dooley's favorite uh, implement of technology, the fax machine, Corey? Uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, well, the, the papers are not there. I've heard from more than one source that uh, I've actually heard from two different sources that his mother has confiscated the papers and she, she took them and she ran and there's uh they're looking for